If you live in Alberta or if you're traveling to Alberta and are looking for a day trip, this is a show for you to watch. I'm Rube, and today I'll be talking to you about my weekend getaway with my family this past weekend. We decided to drive down from Calgary to Lethbridge and play it by the ear. Once we got to our hotel in Lethbridge, we looked at Google Maps and found a large green area near the hotel where we were staying in Lethbridge downtown. The green space was labeled Indian Battle Park. We quickly picked up some fast food and drove down there. Surprisingly, it was only a five minute drive from Lethbridge downtown and once we got there, it didn't seem like we were in the city at all. It was beautiful, peaceful, green, calm. The park is located in the Old Man River Valley and was developed in 1960 over 150 acres to commemorate the Battle of the Belly River. From as much as we know from recorded history, we know that the Battle of the Belly River was the last battle between the indigenous peoples on the Canadian prairies and was fought in October 1870. If you're interested to learn more about the battle, I've added a link in the caption for you to read up. But as per Wikipedia, the battle took place between the Cree, the Iron Confederacy and the Blackfoot Confederacy within the present limits of the city of Lethbridge on the banks of the Old Man River, which at the time of the battle was called the Belly River. Approximately a year after the battle, the Cree and the Blackfoot made a formal peace. But the battle is commemorated in Indian Battle Park. In 2005, a city council bid to rename the park to Valley of Peace to remove negative references to First Nations, but that bid was rejected. The Old Men River Valley, where the park is located, saw many important events over the course of time. There were native camps, tree burials, coal mines, steamer docks, pioneer homes, a sawmill, a brewery, a cemetery, an auto junkyard, and of course, floods. That's what happens in river valleys, they flood. All of that history, you'll find it at the Indian Battle Park in Lethbridge. It is also home to Fort Whoopup, Helen Schuller Cooley Center, the high level bridge, and plenty of trails through the valley with diverse flora and playground for children and picnic tables if that interests you. We even saw a couple getting their wedding photos done there. It is pretty. Now talking about the Fort Whoop Up and the High Level Bridge, what we missed was a guided tour at the Fort Whoop Up where they introduced the visitors to the history of the people of Southern Alberta and the lives they led on the open prairies, the rolling foothills, the story of the buffalo robe, the illegal whiskey trade and the life at the fort during the latter part of the 19th century. Fort Whoop Up is a replica of an original fur trading fort built in the late 1800s. We couldn't do the tour because it was closed on the day that we went there, unfortunately, but I'll put up a link to Fort Whoop Up in the caption for you to check out and make sure you make reservations in advance if you're interested to go see it. And also for just 10 bucks a person after the guided tour, you get a wagon ride through the Old Man River Valley. Why won't you go? And now the high level bridge, my goodness, looming in all its grandeur over the landscape. Massive, gigantic, enormous, powerful, it took my breath away. The bridge is the largest railway structure in Canada and the largest of its type in the world. It is this massive steel trestle over the Old Man River and was designed by CP Rail. Its construction began in the summer of 1907 and ended in August of 1909, and the bridge officially opened on November 1st, 1909. 112 years old this year, and yet still standing fierce, standing strong. It is truly an engineering marvel that alone is worth going to Lethbridge for, at least once. Safe travels, everyone. Enjoy your summer. Explore your city. Explore your province. Explore your country that you live in. Much love.